Welcome to the video on the iOS version of the Unify Easy Setup. We already did a version, or the last video was done on the Android app, so let's hop into it. Go ahead and open your app store, and let's do a search, and we'll search for Unify. Once again, it is the the top app, you will see other apps displayed, but it is the Unify app at the top. Go ahead and install that. Once that's installed, you can go ahead and either open it from here or close the App Store and then open it from the Unify icon. Once the app's open, you can let it send you notifications or not. You have the controller mo mode. I don't have a controller. Uh, we're going to do controller mode. Enter the FQDN or the IP address of your Unify server and a valid username and password. and click connect. It's going to come up. You can see that uh, we have one device in the WLAN and everything's okay. We've got four clients, one device. If you click devices, you will see the devices in your network. You can pull up some basic properties. You can also pull up the users and guests. You can locate or restart the device. You see the devices here that are connected to my network. AP's been up four days. I've got no guests connected. You can look at switches, APs, and phones. If you click clients, you'll get the same client view. You can view all wireless or wired. And if you go to the settings, and you can switch between sites that you have access to. So you see the apps work, uh, you know, pretty, pretty similarly. Uh, if you haven't downloaded this yet, you should uh, definitely download it, play around with it if you've got a Unify controller. I use this thing all the time, every day, when I'm not behind a computer. Give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll talk to you at the next video.